Welcome back to Vanguard TV, everyone. I'm Megana Kuchipudi. And I'm Daniel Price. On today's episode, we'll be covering the importance of mental health, Black Friday deals, and much more. Seasonal affective disorder, a form of periodic depression, affects one in every 20 people in the United States. Dean Sainju has more about why this time of year is often difficult for so many individuals. During the winter season, many individuals face the struggles of seasonal affective disorder, or more commonly known as SAD, due to the gloomy weather, anxiety, and societal expectations during the holiday season. SAD can affect anyone, no matter their age. Some common signs of SAD include lethargy, overeating, and negative thoughts. Not a lot of teens realize that they have SAD, and most of the time, it's attributed to shorter hours and less daylight. The lack of daylight can disrupt your internal body clock, and you might see a decrease in serotonin levels, which can cause irregular cycles in sleep and appetite, as well as a decrease in the amount of information you are able to retain. Other causes could be the lack of activities. Since it's cold outside, teens aren't able to hang out with their friends as much as they would during the warmer seasons. Some ways to help reduce SAD is getting outside, even if it's for a couple of minutes. Though it might feel cold and gloomy, just a few minutes of fresh air can create quite a difference. If you feel like hurting yourself or someone else, reach out to someone you trust. Being able to talk to a counselor, trusted adult, or even a friend can help tremendously. There are many people who don't realize that they can access therapists without having insurance, and many therapists offer in-person sessions as well as ones over the phone. Therapists can help create solutions that fit your lifestyle, which can help you greatly and teach you how to combat such feelings in the future. Individuals with SAD use light therapy, antidepressant medicine, and vitamin D to help manage the effects of SAD. Seasonal affective disorder is able to affect anyone, but knowing how to take care of yourself is key. I'm Dean Sainju, reporting for Vanguard TV. Next week, on November 24th, many family and friends will sit down together to celebrate Thanksgiving, a time to recognize reasons to be grateful. Vanguard TV found out why trailblazers are thankful and what they're thankful for this year. Gratitude is something that is often practiced by individuals in their everyday lives. Because according to public surveys, practicing thankfulness on a regular basis leads to a healthier lifestyle and increases one's lifespan. I'm thankful for um, the tennis team and the coaches. I'm grateful for friends and family and for Miss Moran for letting me do this interview and because I love bio. I'm thankful for my family and friends because they support me 100% of the time and I rely on them. I'm thankful for this weather and my friends and Drake and 21. My friends and family, uh, we hang out and we eat. Uh, my friends and family and we watch the Cowboys game and most of the time they end up losing, but like, it's okay. Throughout history, revolutionary events, including the ending of World War I, have taken place during the month of November. This resulted in citizens showing more gratitude regarding their safety during this month. November has continued to remain a time in which people express gratitude, and that trend is evident on school campuses as well. Because not everyone um, has a loving friends and family like I do, and I'm really thankful for them, and bio because I actually love that class, and it's so fun. I listen to 21 and Drake on loop while going on a jog or going anywhere because her loss is the number one album there ever will be. I celebrate thanks by thanking. As November continues, LT students have the opportunity to develop habits of expressing gratitude on a regular basis, and not only through the holiday season. I'm Faith Alouris reporting for Vanguard TV. Teenagers gain many different hobbies throughout their lifetimes, but some are rarer than others. Blakely Jameson has more on the Lebanon Trail student who enjoys spending his free time busking. Freshman Mason Merritt is earning his travel miles by playing gigs at a variety of different places, including restaurants and shops all over the U.S. to make money as a teenager. He plays his instruments outside establishments, catching attention and hopefully some extra money to add to his wallet from onlookers. <laughs> I started playing piano and guitar when I was five uh, because that was just kind of what was laying around. I started performing with my dad and my brother, so just kind of by habit. While Merritt is busy with his profitable hobby, he's also still able to maintain his studies as a student at LTHS. He not only needs to pay attention to his various gigs in preparing for each performance, but he also must focus on keeping his grades up in school. I guess I look for time for school when I'm practicing. Like I. 
I don't know. I don't do too much school, I guess. I practice most of the time. Merritt said he is determined to continue traveling during the weekends and keep working diligently in the classroom. As a first-year student in high school, he still has more than three years left to make money performing while balancing his academics at the same time. I've learned that some people really don't like what you're doing sometimes. Some people will give you criticism, uh, and that's usually valuable, I guess. Though still young, Merritt seeks to be an example of how working diligently can be rewarding and how a hobby can become more than something one merely does in his or her downtime. I'm Blakely Jameson reporting for Vanguard TV. Black Friday, an annual shopping tradition occurring the day after Thanksgiving, is next week and a variety of stores will offer discounted prices on their products. Jacob Chang highlights some sought-after deals for this year's Black Friday shopping. Black Friday is rapidly approaching, and here we have gathered all of the best deals this holiday season. Amazon has a 32 to 49 inch 100 AP and Sigma TV starting at $79. You can also snag a Hisense 58 inch 4K Roku TV for only $298 at Walmart. Amazon has discounted 4K Blu-ray movies down to only $9.99. If you're looking to pick up some Rainbow movies or Morbius, now's your chance. The hottest item of the season, PlayStation 5s are currently in stock at Walmart and Target for no markup. Beats Studio 3 are currently 57% off at Amazon. AirPods and AirPod Pros are 15% off. While we mostly highlighted online stores, brick and mortar stores are also having sales. Walmart, Lowe's, Sam's Club, Macy's, Target, and Verizon are all offering discounts up to 50%. You can get TVs, phones, appliances, apparel, and much more. If you want to purchase some of these items, please scan the QR code on the screen. Winter seasons are in full swing as LT's winter sports teams begin their first games and scrimmages. Ethan Wu highlights the initial matchups of winter sports, the final results of fall sports teams, and what athletes signed letters of intent last week to continue their athletic endeavors at the college level. Fall sports seasons have officially ended and winter seasons have officially begun after the final matches of fall sports. The LT football team ended its season after losing against Centennial High School with a close game of 14-10. The LT football team was 8th in district play with a record of 1-7 and an overall record of 1-9. Moving from the field to the court, the volleyball team completed its playoff games after losing the Lone Star 3-0 on November 1st. The LT volleyball team had an overall record of 20-12 and tied in 3rd place in district play with Independence with a record of 9-3. Cross Country made LT history after returning from Round Rock, Texas, as junior Naraj Kukarni placed 17th and sophomore Nathaniel Guajardo placed 84th in stage competitions. Winter season successfully kicked off with the first basketball and wrestling games and scrimmages last week. Basketball matched up against Lovejoy, Rock Hill, Pierce, and Ryan High School for its first games. The girls won all of their games and most recently beat Ryan High School in a neutral tournament with a final score of 41-32, advancing their overall record to a 6-0. The boys fell to Lovejoy High School for its first game last Friday with a final score of 67-40. Girls basketball will match up against Ryan High School at 6 p.m. and boys basketball will match up against Lone Star High School at 7.30 p.m., both in the LT main gyms tomorrow. Wrestling had its first inter-team scrimmage last Wednesday and competed in its first game in the Panther Invite Tournament at Hillcrest High School. The boys came in 5th place with a final team score of 105 and the girls came in 4th place with a final team score of 106. Wrestling will compete in the Colleyville Heritage Invitational Meet at the Colony High School this Thursday at 5 p.m. I'm Ethan Wu, reporter for Vanguard TV. Thanks again for joining us for another edition of Vanguard TV. I'm Daniel Price. And I'm Megana Kuchipudi. Have a great day, Blazers! I used to be a certified lover boy. But honestly, never mind. Her loss. It's God's plan. <laughs>